Hey, what is up, you guys? It is Tyler. Welcome back, back, back to the Tyler Warps channel, and welcome to week two of your Wednesday Night War preview for October 16th, 2019. I just realized that this says October 16th, 2018, pre-edits, so I have to change that now. But uh, last week, I did a preview for uh, the Wednesday Night Wars, NXT, and AW's Matt's card, and that went over pretty well. So this week, I will be doing the exact same thing and we're going to be going over both AEW and NXT's uh match card now i will not be streaming this week as i will be at aew dynamite in philadelphia at the leah core center with my little sister she's 15 years old she's been to like two wrestling shows but they've all been wwe this is going to be our first non-wwe wrestling show so she's pretty excited i mean she's excited to go to a wrestling show she doesn't know anybody there Except for like Chris Jericho and Cody, but that's it. So I'm excited to take her on this journey and see how she does and all that kind of stuff. Maybe I'll get her to uh, give her thoughts on AEW after this. But without further ado, guys, let's get straight into this card. So first, we're going to start off with NXT. Uh, NXT, I honestly thought was the better show last week. And this week, they had to have a pretty promising card. More of substance to it than last week because last week only had like two matches to go off of. This week, we have four. Now, one match doesn't really have a clear, like, match, but we know someone's going to be competing. And that first match is Tegan Knox making her return back to the ring. She's been out since last year's Mae Young Classic. I believe she made it to the quarterfinals where she sustained a leg injury to her. I mean, she injured her one leg already, so she injured her other leg, which is worse because now she has two knee braces, which is just terrible. But uh, she's been out ever since then. I really am going to say it's been almost a year now. If not, it's been a year. She's making a return back to the ring. It's not known who her opponent is, but I'm going to assume that she goes over because it would be stupid for her to, you know, have this comeback story. They've been telling this story on NXT for the last few weeks, promo packages and all. So I'm going to assume she's going to win this match over it is against. And because Rhea Ripley was the woman who was last in the ring with her when she injured herself and Rhea Ripley made fun of her for months upon end while she was injured, it's only fitting that we get Tegan Knox versus Rhea Ripley at some point. Not now. I don't. I think it's too early to blow off the feud on her return. I think we could build up to this match. Maybe the next TakeOver, maybe the next NXT big event, who knows. But I would like to see them build up to that match. Next up, we have Damian Priest versus Pete Dunne. I cannot wait for this match. It's going to be really good. Damian Priest is a guy they've really been building up on NXT. We all know just how great Pete Dunne is. He's a former NXT UK champion. What was it? Like 400, 500 days? He was a long championship reign. I mean, it was so long. I got I was starting to get tired of him being champion, honestly. But um, it's going to be a really good match. Uh, Damian Priest has been undefeated. I think they're going to keep it going. So I'm going to go with Damian Priest to win this match. After that, we have Keith Lee versus Dominic Dijakovic in what's going to be their rubber match. I don't know if it's their third match or their fourth match, but all I know is I want it to be their last match. <laughs> Listen, I love Keith Lee. I love Dominic Dijakovic. I think they're both amazingly talented wrestlers that can do incredible things and make incredible psychology with each other. But I am ready to move on. I'm ready for them to wrestle other guys. That's the thing you run into a wrestling is that when you're into a few with each other, you have a, but so many matches before you get tired of seeing them. Like earlier today, I was watching New Japan's King of Pro Wrestling show, and I was so fed up with this Okada Sonata feud that I was barely even watching their match. And I'm not saying I'm at that point with Keith Lee, Dominic Dijakovic, but at least they know when to stop. So. It should be the last match, at least for a long, long time. Last time they had their match, I was not a fan of the finish. So let's hope that we're not going to get another top rope Canadian Destroyer kick out of one spot because that annoyed the fuck out of me. But if I had to go for a winner, I'm going to say Dominic Dijakovic wins the rubber match. Then we get into what I assume will be the main event. We have Mexican Tai Chi Angel Garza versus the returning Tommaso Ciampa. So two returns on this show. Now, I know what you're all thinking, but Tyler, Angel Garza wrestles nothing like Tai Chi. Guys, he rips off his pants like Tai Chi. So if it looks like Tai Chi and he walks like Tai Chi, guess what? He's fucking Mexican Tai Chi. Now, I'm just... Let me not put it like that. I sound all aggressive and shit. I'm gonna call him Mexican Tai Chi, because why not? He's an amazingly talented wrestler. I've become a really big fan of Angel Garza, so I am super amped for this show, this main event. Tommaso Ciampa's return match. I really can't see it going either way except for him winning this match. 
No Undisputed Era on this show. And I think that's going to play into after the match where we're going to see Adam Cole attack him from behind and build up to their next match. Whenever that is. I don't know when the next takeover is because they haven't said so. But we will see Tommaso Ciampa versus Adam Cole at some point, And I can't wait for it. That's NXT. Let's move on to AEW Dynamite. I will be there for this stacked, stacked, super stacked show. As stacked as NXT is, I'm going to say AEW wins at the hype factor. I'm super amped. And it's not just because I'm going to be there, but it's just an amazing card to look at. So the first match we have up here is Jurassic Express, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy versus the Lucha Bros, Phoenix, and Pentagon Jr. Guys, I am probably, I'm on the roof for this damn match. Y'all don't understand. Now, I've been a big fan of Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. since their days in Lucha Underground Season 1, which is back in 2015. So I know these guys for a few years now. Luchasaurus, I've got exposed to him back in late 2017 when I was going to this independent wrestling circuit in Philadelphia called House of Hardcore. I got exposed to him. I've been a big fan of him ever since and been following his career. Jungle Boy, I got exposed to him last year. I don't remember when, but I took note of Jungle Boy. And this year, I got to see him for the first time live at Joey Janela's Spring Break 3. And I was just super impressed by the guy. So I have a hankering for every single team in this match. Now, as much as I would like to say, oh, I'm a big fan of both teams, the fans are the winners, uh, fuck that bunk shit. Listen, AEW's most promising and hot act right now, not Neymar, it's Cassidy, is Jurassic Express, Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, and Marco Stunt. It's AEW Dynamite's inception. They're only on week three. I'm just saying, your hot act should be winning this match. As much as I love Phoenix and Pentagon Jr., I really think that Jurassic Express should be winning this match. And I think they should win the whole tournament, honestly. That's how over they are, at least with me. Um, my perception is the crowd loves these guys. I, I mean... Even if they don't win the entire tag team tournament, they should at least go to the finals. So I'm going to go Jurassic Express to win this match. Next up, we have the AEW Tag Team Tournament continuing. We have the best friends, Chucky e. T and Beretta versus SCU, Frankie Kazarian, and Christopher Daniels. They've been keeping SCU pretty strong since Double or Nothing, getting tag team wins here and there, literally everywhere. I am more inclined to say SCU win, but... Orange Cassidy's only the most over guys on the show. And since it's their inception and you want to get the guys who are most over, they should be winning. So I'm going to say Best Friends gets the win here. Whether it be Orange Cassidy interference or whatnot, I'm going to say Best Friends gets the win. Moving on, we have Riho versus Britt Baker for the AEW Women's Championship. I would be asking, first of all, why is Britt Baker getting a championship match? What did she do to earn it? The only feasible answer i could give you for why Britt baker really got into this match the only defense i could say and you i would not say it was oh well she won the match on aew dark yes i know cody counts aew dark she didn't win anything on aew dynamite she didn't win anything at all out she didn't win anything at fight for the fallen however i will say this the first ever aew women's match Britt baker awesome kong kylie ray nyla rose she won that match. So that, I will say, because she's the winner of the first ever AEW Women's match, I will say she deserves a shot at this championship. So, that being said, who wins the match? Easy, Rio. There's no reason for them to take the title off of her this soon. She's only been holding on to that title for, like, what, two weeks? She should get a good reign out of it. So as much as I like to think that Britt Baker is good friends with the Elite, it really should be Riho going over here. Getting into the next match, we have a humongous tag team match. I mean, this is a pay-per-view quality tag team match. We have the team of Hangman Page and Kenny Omega versus John Moxley and Pac. I can't tell you how excited I was. See, see now, last week I was debating whether I want to go to AEW's show in philadelphia because i'm like okay well i'm streaming now i should keep to the schedule maybe i'll just miss this show i've been to double or nothing i'll need to go when they announced this match i said i'm fucking going as much as i love chris jericho it's not a buying point for me to go because i've been to a show with chris jericho already this year so darby allen versus chris jericho wasn't really a selling point for me but this match sold me i am i went and bought my ticket right after this hangman page kenny omega are 
amazing. John Mo Pack is amazing. John Moxie is he's he's good. <laughs> I think he's the weakest link in ring out of the four of these men. But I think with the connection these four men have. Pac and Heyman Page having that match at All Out. Kenny Omega and John Moxley currently feuding. Kenny Omega and Pac having that match at All Out. There's really just all go around here. Except for John Moxley and Page, but that's going to be really good as well. Really, any team could win, and I wouldn't be mad at the results. However, I'm going to go with John Moxley and Pac to win this match. I don't know what it is about Heyman Page and on a downward spiral. And Kenny Omega on a downward spiral. But I want to keep it going. So I'm going to go with John Moxley and Pac to win this match. And then the main event, we have Darby Allen versus Chris Jericho for the AEW Championship. It's really easy. Chris Jericho retains the title. Darby Allen, cool guy. Cool wrestler. I can't wait for this match. It's going to be death-defying because it's a street fight. It's going to be insane because Darby Allen is going to risk his life for wrestling. And Chris Jericho. We can date back to Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega. At Wrestle Kingdom 12, or you could go to Chris Jericho versus Tetsuya Naito at Wrestle Kingdom 13. Chris Jericho can still fucking do street fights. He can still brawl. So if they give them enough leeway, if they give them the time, I think this could be a potential MOTY. However, Chris Jericho is still winning this match no matter what. <laughs> you can, There's nothing you can do to convince me Darby Allin will win this match. I love the guy, but he's not winning. Anyway, that is my preview for the Wednesday Night Wars. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know. I love you guys as always, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Go!